Welcome everyone to Let's Play Okami HD episode 45. Oh man, it's taking forever to make this episode. Because things are going to get a little bit more complicated from now on. Because now we're at the end game. We can pretty much do whatever we, whatever we want and get whatever we need to 100% the game. And there's still quite a hell of a lot to do. But uh, for now, we're just going to get some stray beads. This entire episode is going to be getting some stray beads we may have missed during this uh, season or batch of episodes, as it were. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to head to uh, Tuskell's house, all the way in the back of the map here. This is a very big, wide open map, and it's very, very annoying to navigate sometimes because if you fall down, you have to explore like everywhere and it takes forever to get to where you need to go but luckily the beads we're gonna get here are all in a row so it really works out for us so we're gonna take this vine here and you can see that hard dig spot down there with a the clover for this one you have to have digging champ which we fortunately have you can already see a chest right there I'm pretty sure you can tell where this is heading We're gonna get a lot of clovers too. Praise is also a very important thing. We're gonna, get, we're gonna get some money, we're gonna get some praise. We're just doing it all today. And right here is Stray Beat 86. We're uh, going backwards just because it just flushes so well. We can move on with uh, this vine over here now, which in turn comes to this one over here. And up here, you will probably find a chest that has a sun fragment in it. Oh, I did collect three. That does need to be maxed out by the end of uh, the Let's Play, so we still got a ways to go to get our health up there. Sun fragments help, but sometimes your praise will give you that extra boost. You head up here until you get the, to this clover. You can also uh, cut this boulder in half. Uh, sometimes there's food and stuff in there. I guess there was nothing in there this time. Yeah, seeing as how we're towards the end of the game, we're getting a lot of high-level clovers here that give us way more praise than the beginning of the game did. And inside of there is Stray Beat 85. Really, they're all in a line for us, because the next one is down here somewhere. Let's jump on down here, and up on that ledge, uh, that ledge there is where we need to go. We need to find whoop, Peach Blossom, so we can find up there. We need to activate it. There we go. Sometimes you might need to get in the right position to activate it. Well, up here we have some monkeys to feed, might as well. We can have some seeds. It gives us a little extra praise. 15. Not bad, not bad. But in addition to that, we get a clover here too. So that was like 45 praise right there. We haven't even got the bead yet because there's still more to go. I probably got a bind of the other one. Oh well. You can also vine from down there, too, but this is if you're coming this way and getting all these beads in a row. You got two chests here. I'm gonna wait for my ink to reload to show out how this works. There's a stray bead in that ice one, and there's, uh, something else in that one. I think it's, like, a treasure or something. But essentially, you use Inferno, and then Ghost of Wind, and then Power Slash. And then you get Stray Beat 84, Etched Glass, and a Gourd. Not bad. Now there's a fourth Stray Beat in here, but we can't get that yet because we don't have the Demon Fang treasure that is supposed to uh, come with it. At least I don't think we do. So we have 28 of them right now. Let's see. Yeah, I don't think we have it. No, we... 
Yeah, okay. So, uh, it's called the, um, the Mist Pot. It's 80 Demon Fangs, and it's the only way to get this straight B, by going, <clears throat> by, uh, warping from save point to save point, and when you get in that save point, that's where you find the stray bead. So we can't get to it right now, so we'll just keep moving on. We'll be getting more demon fangs once we get to the demon trial gates. That's not gonna be for a while. There's still plenty to do. I can guarantee you that. So here we are back in Webkir, and there's uh, still a few beads to get here, too. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to run to uh, Lynn's house, which is this second one right here, or Kai's house. Sorry, I don't know. I don't know. Why I was thinking Lynn, but I mean Kai. Kai. If you found the sheep, you know you're in the right place. So we'll feed these sheep friends. Probably cut this boulder too. Because if your astral pouch is full, more food just equals more cash, which of course we need. And inside of this chest, once it turns morning, or actually it's night, well, either way, that is stray beat 82. Yeah, we're jumping all the way to 82 now. And from there, head in here. This one can only be gotten after you've, uh, I think if you defeated Lechku and Nechku. Or, no wait. You need to gain access here, so you need to, you need to gain the favor of the Elder in order to get here. But uh, this kid in the Otter Mask is happy to be playing in the snow, and he wants to play with us, too. He tells us to make a big snowball. really, really huge. I've been rolling it for like a good, like, five minutes, and he still wasn't satisfied, but essentially what you do is you just roll over this ball over these lumps of snow to make it really, really, really big. And, uh, frankly, we're a little, we're a little bit of a hurry right now, so we're not gonna do that. We are gonna go ahead and get some of these chests here, like a white porcelain pot. But, uh, the real important business is back here. You're not missing anything if you don't roll up the snowball for the kid. You only miss some praise, and if we really need to get some, we'll just come back and get and yeah, take care of it. But for now, back here is Straybeat 83. It's all the way back here, pretty much. It shouldn't be hard to find. There's one more chest back here. I believe it is a crystal. Sell these treasures later and get even more money. Money is a very important thing to get. Once you get those stray bead, that uh, stray bead and those two treasures, we're done here. Still got a couple more to find. This can be a bit of a confusing uh, town to navigate in. But essentially, just go down a few corridors, loop around here, and right there you'll find a bear, which we can feed. And that chest beside him is something we need. Straybeat 81. There's one more in here. Oh. There's some clover over here. And some more sheep we can feed. See, I like coming through the game after you've already solved the problem, so that way everything is available for you and you can do it all in one fell swoop. Save some time. One more clover here. Get insane amounts of praise here. And essentially, you're going to want to go to the big lake there. That's kind of where you're wanting, you're wanting to head. Not back into the alleyway with the with the bear. We're gonna look. We're gonna loop back around here. Head back up this slope. Jump over here. And jump over here. And well, I've found something. I don't think this is what I'm really looking for, though. Nope, it's just some etched glass that I missed. 
But essentially, follow the water. <laughs> if it's at night, you'll find stuff you didn't even know you missed. Jade tassels, that's pretty good. And some more... I think those are cats I can feed? No, rabbits, sorry. I don't know why I thought they were cats. Some pretty long ears on those cats. I'll tell you what. Well, uh, the jade tassel is actually a good landmark because then you jump over this waterfall up here. It should take you to the place of the clover. Yet another clover, right? We're getting even more praise because there's storks we can feed now. Man, we're getting a lot of shit done today. And this chest back here is Stray Bead 80. And that does it for all the Stray Beads in Webkir. Now for our last stop, we're gonna head to Kamui. Immediately, you're gonna want to turn left. Not that far left, but you saw the clover there, you saw where I was heading. But it really is just right outside the portal and to the left. For a little bit... yeah, right here. Just a hard dig spot with another freaking clover. 40 praise this time. Down here is a couple of important things. This is an important site, especially. Now this bomb wall here. It's morning, by the way. So down this corridor here, it takes you uh, to this hard dig spot, which we are not going to go down because that leads to the Devil Gate Trials. And that's going to take way too long, and we're going to do that a little bit later on. Probably when we allocate our praise. But inside this chest is Stray Bead. 76. Losing track of all these stray beads we're getting. Sheesh. I'm heading across this ice waterfall. Don't go all the way down just yet, and I already got that, didn't I? Yeah, I already, I already got the stories. Alright, then. Well, there's six stray beads in Kamui. We're only going to be dealing with, uh, with four of them. Next one is down this little cave that I completely forgot about. It's got some fair share of treasures. We can get all but one of them in here right now. There's a vengeance slip. Actually, two of them are pretty damn important. Like this chest right here. You want the platinum, you have to get this chest. Because it has a travel guide in it. I'm talking about the tribe of the moon. You can always come and get travel guys, so it's not like you can miss them or anything. Most of them are pretty easy to find anyway. Down that corridor it leads to a hard power slash uh, rock that we can't really cut yet. Because we don't have a strong enough power slash yet. Another reason why we're going to need a lot of money. Devil Gate Trials will get us a lot of money, because that Devil Gate, that Devil Gate Trial that I just passed up that usually will get you about a million yen. Probably more. There's another bear we can feed for a little bit of extra praise. And inside of this frozen dress, Stray Beat 75. Breakneck speed we're moving here. Getting ever closer to the end of this Let's Play, finally. Going on almost three years now. Alright. If you notice these Devil Gates here, we're not going to go through this one. We're going to go through this one. I mean, you can go through that one, but it's a waste of time. This is the one that we need to focus on the most. If you start pissing on these guys, you can get multiple at a time with one piss. Make sure you stock up on those demon fangs, because now we're at a point where we're going to really start needing them. So. 
these guys. Just cut them, turn black and white. Can't really think of their floral finish, and I can't be bothered to find out right now. There we go, and there's one more guy. Coming on from the underground. Handle this. Veil of Mist when he gets up. He's confused because he doesn't know where the hell that I am, but I think he saw me anyway somehow because I jumped the gun. And I'm gonna get a crap time for this now. First goddamn place. Alright. Once you clear that up, it opens up a mermaid spring. You can't see it, but it's there. An extra 50 preys. Ridiculous. You can see right behind you there is a chest. Like, literally, right behind you is a chest. In this chest. Stray bead, 77. And we got that mermaid spring up so we can warp here if we need to. Alright. Uh, I think we got just one more to go. One more stray bead. And then we'll be about done for today. Done for a while, maybe. What we gotta do is we gotta head down to the dojo here. But it splits off here in its own little section. We got some foxes here we can feed. And over here we have a part that I really kind of dread. I'm not gonna like doing this uh, next season. It's one of the first things we're gonna get done so we can get it out of the way, but it's also gonna be a great source of income. We have to catch all the fish. And there's three separate fishing sites and they all have their own separate fish that they have to get though at their own separate times of day and all that. And we'll be spending a lot of time here, certainly, but not right now. Over here by the storks is a chest. It's not a stray bead, it's etched glass. But hey, you can sell it and you can feed these storks. I think the late game is really when fish comes in handy. So we can melt this chest, giving us a white porcelain pot. Down there is a dojo, but we're not going to think about getting any moves yet until we get the big two million dollar one, which is going to be hectic to get. But over in this little yard here, there's a hit. There's a buried chest. It has our final stray bead of the episode. Stray bead number seventy-four. And that about covers it for this. Uh, we've caught up on some stray beads, and next season, or by that I mean a next couple of months while I plan for this shit, because if there's a huge undertaking to be had here. Uh, yeah, that's about all we're gonna do. Ooh, we can get this one more. One more chest here for the time's sake. We are now heading back to Shinshu Field, pretty much. Because that is where the next leg of of, uh, <laughs> I guess endgame contact is going to come from. Because in there is a stray bee that you can only get only during the Day of Darkness. It's a little strange to me. But essentially, just wait around until after the credits here if you want to see, uh, what we have left to do next season. Because essentially, this is pretty much it. I want to thank everyone who's watched this so far, and I'm sure there's people who've been around since the beginning. It's been one hell of a of a growth cycle, hasn't it? I've changed as a director and as a presenter of this Let's Play, and the 
quality has shifted up and down exponentially, but I'm hoping season four to be the best one because that's when we're gonna get a little bit unconventional with certain things. So, thanks for watching everybody. We'll see you next time on Let's Play Okami HD. Hey guys, uh, in lieu of a platinum check-in, I'm just gonna say everything that we need to do for next season. Rather, I'm gonna say the trophies that we still have to get. I'm gonna list them all off now, and if you don't want to hear that, just go ahead and skip to the next episode, or just wait around for a while. Here we go. Barking up the wrong tree, where we have to have less than five deaths, we need to have more than 4,500 preys, we need to have defeated 550 enemies, and we need to have over 300 demon fangs, and we need to have made over 4 million yen. That's going to be a hard one. That's really the big one that we're focusing on. From Imps to Demons, complete our bestiary. Most of the missing entries are actually in the Ark of Yamato at the very, 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 very end of the game, so we're not going to worry about that for now. Doggone fast! Beat Kai and a Kamui! That's a side quest we're going to do later on. Out of the gate swinging! Those are the Devil Gate trials that are really, really hard to do, but they give a lot of money and they're a really huge endurance round. We've already done one of them, and there's two more to go. Teach an old dog new tricks! Get all technique scrolls! Leave no chests unopened! All 99 stray beads! Well, we've got several so far, and we just got a few more left to get. Sniff him out! Wanted list quests. I haven't done any of the wanted lists yet, and we're gonna be covering that eventually. Giving a dog all the bones! That's completing your treasure tome. Have guides, we'll travel! Get all travel guides. No more fish! Fucking fishing, I hate to grab life by the leash! Make sure all of these things are full. The two story missions that we haven't unlocked yet. Once we do that, we'll get the platinum, and then we'll be good. So, alright, thanks for that, so we'll see you next time.